Hello, myself Manish Jain from Truemark, Mumbai. Now today we are demonstrating you the gravity filler machine. Let me show you how to operate it. Before that, I want to introduce all the components of this machine. So let's start from. Uh, this is the machine hopper in which we fill the product. The product inlet is here. You can show the inlet. It's with wall. You can connect your pipeline or the pump to transfer the product inside. And this is the overflow outlet. if your tank if your pump is not controlled with the level sensor and the product is filled with with top so this is to overflow so the product don't flow from top of it and it can be safely removed uh, by a bypass pipeline and this is the level indicator so whatever product we filled in it will show the level currently you can see the level here okay So now this is a pneumatic machine, uh, and we will require a air compressor to operate it. We have already connected the air pipeline here. This is our FRL which control the air pressure. Currently, we have set the air pressure to three bar. This is how you can control the air pressure. If I want, I can reduce the pressure. See, the arrow is moving toward downwards. and if i want to increase i have to rotate it clockwise and once i set it i need to press this to lock it so once the air pressure is set we are ready to operate before we operate the machine i want to tell you few basic things once you receive the machine you need to clean it thoroughly before putting your product inside so always start the machine with water first to clean as well as to learn learn it properly before you actually do your production so now the operating is very very easy here is the plate given which have some guides to place your bottle in center alignment with the nozzle so we have already set the guide and we can place the bottle very easily with the alignment in the nozzle this machine works with the principle of gravity filling and the liquid replacing air inside the bottle i will tell you about the technical part uh, technical part of the machine in a later part so let's see how to operate it now we for for operating we have given the hand switch these are pneumatic hand switch so as soon as i pull the lever the bottle moves up and the product starts filling in you can operate both together or one by one as per your comfort the bottle will keep on filling it until it achieve a particular level and then it stops filling so that part also will explain in the later part once the bottle is filled you can reverse the lever to make it down so the the work lever is doing is just the lifting the bottle and making it down to remove it now i i want to show you one more thing suppose i am placing bottle only at one nozzle and making it up what will happen it will start filling only in the bottle which is placed empty below the nozzle rest of the bottle where the bottle is not placed rest of the nozzle will not fill as there is no bottle and the bottle is not pressing the nozzle filling will not happen and suppose if i let me remove this suppose i forgot to remove a filled bottle and i placed the empty bottle and i started the machine then also no need to worry because it will only fill the empty bottle the filled bottle is already achieved a level so it will not pour any more liquid inside it so this is how the filling gets completed it's very easy to operate and the more the tank level will be the higher will be the speed if your tank level is down or minimum the speed may be little bit lower even if you don't remove uh, don't lower it for a certain time no need to worry the liquid won't overflow suppose if you are facing a problem or li liquid overflow then that means you need to replace this silicon washers these these are the rubber washers if if it get damage then it may leak from here so this is all about the operation of the machine now let's understand how it works in the next part thank you so let's understand how this machine works this is the glass bottle it can work on glass bottle as well as pet bottle if they are sturdy enough and don't flatten easily okay so this i have one extra nozzle with me when i press the nozzle you can see it opens the valves open when i press it 
so same thing happening inside the tank when when i press it it's opening so the product flows through it and comes out of the nozzle so when i press the nozzle on the bottle the valve opens plus the second thing happening is we are locking the air inside the bottle we are not letting the air out from anywhere here so the the only a gateway from where the air can get out is this small hole and from here the air will air going to travel through this pipe and release from here so if we block this point then air will not able to uh, go out and it will get trapped and once the air cannot go out it will stop the liquid flow inside the bottle so that's what happening here until the bottle reaches say i press this the liquid is started filling and the ex additional the extra air is getting out from this hole you can show the close view the air is getting out from this hole but as soon as the liquid blocks this hole so there is no room or no other way for the air to go out hence the mo no more liquid is coming inside because this is also locked if there is a leakage from here or the rubber washer got damaged then it may possible that the bottle will overflow and leak from the top so you can replace the washer it's time to replace the washer suppose the other thing is suppose you want to change the level you don't want to fill till here suppose you want to fill till here or you want to fill till more top then we can do with these washers let me show you how so again this is the sample nozzle this silicon washer is to lock the air on the bottle but these plastic washers are given to change the level of liquid we fill inside the bottle so the more the more washer i fit inside the liquid level will come till upside because the la uh, the nozzle will go only little bit inside the bottle but if i remove the washer it can go more inside and can fill less liquid if only there is this washer rubber washer and no plastic washer then it will fill till this level but if i fix this washers it can fill up to the top level so this is how we control the level of liquid inside the bottle now let me show you uh, how to clean the machine for that i need to make you understand what's inside this storage thank you for watching i hope i have explained everything well to be able to operate this machine well in case of you are facing any difficulties or want to troubleshoot the machine functionality please do contact us on the given whatsapp number and email id suppose you are a new person watching this video first time and want to inquire about this machine to buy this then we have given our sales person number in the video description and please do like share and subscribe to our channel see you in the next video thank you